as I discussed in pre-analysis, the, um, the bound layer theory is based on these assumptions over here. Uh, fl the fluent solution doesn't make these assumptions. So we can go into the fluent solution and look, for instance, at du dx and du dy and uh, you know, check if these, uh, if du dx is much lower than du dy. And that's a confirmation that that's a reasonable assumption to make uh, while developing bound layer theory. So let's plot du dx and du dy and compare the relative magnitudes um, in the fluent solution. For that, it's better to go into fluent and calculate the velocity derivatives there. So I will start fluent from solutions. From solution, that's usually the better place to start it. Um, rather than, you know, set up and solution, both will start fluent and uh, starting it from solution will load up the um, all the data. So I prefer to start it from solution uh, in, in a lot of cases. And I can, if I go into run calculation, there is uh, this data file quantities option. These are the data file quantities that are transferred to CFD post by default, but I want to transfer some additional um, variables. And so here are my velocity derivatives. Okay, so for instance, um, This is basically du dx. So it calls u x velocity uh, and so on. Okay, let's transfer all the velocity derivatives. We can transfer the pressure derivatives if we want. Um, and I'll, but I'll just stick with the velocity derivatives now. I'll say okay. And then I need to force fluent to transfer it to. Um, to the post processor and for that I have to run one iteration. So I'll say one iteration, calculate, uh, okay, okay. And now when I go into um, the post processor, it'll say, hey, new data exists. I'll say bring that in. And now if I go and uh, make a chart, let me say, velocity derivatives and um, under data series let me pick um, x equal to 0 0.8 along the horizontal axis I want du dx and along the vertical axis I want uh, actually uh, I should go to the drop down menu y apply okay so du dx is of the order of uh, say 0.4 within the boundary layer and it's uh, of course it's uh, very small outside the boundary layer um, so let's compare that to du dy and so I have a good data series add a second curve the location is the same and I have to pick custom data selection because I'm changing, you know, what I, you know, the, the the entity that I want to plot along the horizontal axis. So along the horizontal axis, actually, I can do it from the drop-down menu. Uh, I want du dy, and along the vertical axis, I want y, and I'll say apply. And so you can see that du dy is of the order of you know, over 40, so it's uh, two orders of magnitude higher than du dx, and which means that this is a valid assumption um, in boundary layer theory. 